but b before we do that, it's time to get the uh, relic in level five. All right. So these levels are a bit finicky to get a good time on because oh right. <laughs> Why, why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? What? Where was I? Oh, Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. Yeah, how about now? <laughs> Alright, as I was saying though, these days just can be a little bit finicky to get good times on because, um, as far as I'm aware, Oh, so the Womp Fruit will vanish in the, state, in the uh, time trials, because, you know, you don't need them. Also, another thing, you can, if you die, or pause, you can actually restart the, uh, go back to the start of the level, and, re and start the time trial over again. So yeah, make sure you don't die. But yeah, it's like, it's kind of luck based in a way like how fast you go through here because some depending on the wave you can get a short uh, speed boost and like you can't really control that it kind of just the waves just kind of act on their own accord so sometimes you'll get that was bad that was really bad all right i'm i'm fine with dying there but yeah so for for time trials, these would probably be some of the worst ones, just because of that. But if you if you get all the time book the time boxes and you keep hold of the uh, no no I'm not accepting that. If you keep hold of the X burn, you should be fine. And depend yeah depending on which direction you're facing when you go off a ramp there, it'll do a different, like, animation. It doesn't really mean much now, but the, the, uh, no, little nose dive, you can do as you press down, or up, even. That can actually help you get a certain box later. Now look at that, I got, I actually got a decent speed boost there. in a little bit, I guess. Alright. Booyah! It's not platinum, but gold is good.
Alright, now it's time to go to World 2. Oh, also. There's probably a way to glitch through these, but... No, we're not gonna do that. Alright. Gee whiz. If I'm not mistaken, this is a... Uh, night? Oh, no, it's... Like, it's like a, it's like sunset, I guess. But yeah, those frogs, like, as a kid, those frogs always, like, messed me up. Like, I remember getting owned by them in <laughs> Toad, Toad Village, actually, because just the way they jump, I guess, like, kind of throws me off a little bit. Also, another trick that I didn't know for years is that you can actually... I almost messed that up, but you can actually spin those little magic spells like away, which when I like that saves you so much trouble because if you don't know that, they the wizards are like a real pain to deal with. But yeah, like um, I guess that's uh, this is one thing to bring up. You noticed how the wizard took two hits to kill in um, the NTSC version. That was actually not the case. They actually took only one hit. And there are actual, like, some uh, differences between PAL and NTSC. Like, um, some enemies apparently have quicker animations, according to uh, some of the guys at Sea's Brain. Um, and um, there are some more enemies in a few stages. And it's generally, like, it's not harder by much from what I've, from what I've uh, seen and heard and all that, but it does, it is still like decently like more challenging in the power version, so I guess you should want a decent, like a better challenge overall, go play the power version, I guess. Yeah boy. Wait, like, I feel like I'm the only one that thinks, well, there, there are a few other people, like, Andrew thinks this, but... I honestly think that Crash, uh, Crash 2 is the easiest, um, Crash game. Oh, not Crash game, um... Actually, no, I, yeah, I, from what I played anyway, I'd say Crash 2 is probably the easiest Crash game in the entire series. Not even the original trilogy, just in general. And, um... I feel like I'm the only one that thinks that Crash 3 is harder overall. Like, I'm... When I'm considering, like, difficulty from both, like, all three games, I'm counting everything. Like, the gems, the bonus rooms, I guess, the death routes, like, everything. I'm counting the entire game. And when I do, um, I honestly think that Crash 3 is the harder game overall. Like, the time trials, um, oh... I get it. You don't have to get the extra gem, uh, but if you do count that, then yeah, this you have you have the gold relics you need to get. You have the uh, the um, bonus rooms. Dang it! And the, all that stuff. Like I don't know when it comes to. When it comes to 100%, I just feel like this is this game is harder overall. Maybe if you're going for maybe like a pure crystal run, maybe Crash 2 would be uh, harder. But even then, I think Crash 2 is the easier game, honestly. I don't know. Again, I feel like I'm one of the few people who feel that way. Like the general consent seems to be that the games get easier. Well. The trilogy gets easier as you go through, like, Crash 1 is hard, Crash 2 is easier, but, um, Crash 3 is the easiest. I, yeah, again, I just don't agree with it, personally. But I'm not saying Crash 3 is, like, a biz, like, is, like, insanely hard or anything, like, nah, not really. Like, Crash 2 and 3 are honestly not, that's not necessarily the hardest games ever. Well, so you can do this. Yeah, the frogs move depending on where you are. But, um... Yeah, they aren't the hardest games ever. Crash 1, definitely, because... Mainly because of... 
that was that was my fault, but hey, you get to see a death animation. And they are easily the most fleshed out in this game. There are so many different deaths you can find from dang near everything. And it's just so great to see like oh what am I gonna get from getting killed by this guy or whatnot. It's, it's just so great. I like seeing all those different death animations. I thought I had enough time, to be honest. On NTSC, I would. Right, get, in, uh, get blown up. Oh, whatever. Mm -mm. But yeah, I just feel like overall, um, this is the most fun game. This is easily the e this is the easiest crash game for me to replay. Like, I can play it again within a heartbeat and have a blast. And that takes me back to the days where I didn't have the crash games anymore and um, I had no access to play them. That was a rough time period. Yeah, we're already getting to um, pure platforming levels. That's all good. Yeah, like this. There's more platforming levels than the there are gimmick stages, so you'll still get a good amount of like jumping around and doing all good crash stuff. So you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, now we're in the Arabian stages, which are actually some of my favourite in the game. Like, there's a lot of in uh, cool little platforming challenges here. They're some of the harder stages overall, and I like that. Like, it gives me a good sense of challenge, and again, they have some of the most challenging platforming, I'd say. And the music is also really good. Like, I, this is one of my favourite themes, I, I'd say. And again, the whole time travel gimmick with this game lets uh, has gives them the um, the freedom to have a bunch of different themes. Also, make sure you slide on the the guy holding a bunch of pots because spinning on them uh, makes it so you have to uh, attack him again. And I'm not sure if they were in Crash 2. Um, but those crates are just like it's changing constantly. They'll eventually like speed up tremendously, and it it will make it it will eventually have it so you can't even break because it turns into a steel crate. So when, once you see one, just go and break it and like just go up to it right away. <laughs> Yeah, that's a weird little glitch, like, it's uh, pretty uncommon, but sometimes you can, like, s like jump on a box like that, and it'll just not, so for some reason, won't register it being hit, so it'll just, you'll kind of just be awkwardly standing on the box. A little puzzle element. Yeah, make sure you get that, because I don't think that's possible to get otherwise. Now, I will say one thing that does make a, well, one thing, well, okay, I don't know why it just froze there for a second, but one thing in Crash, in Crash 2 that I guess makes it a little bit more challenging is that there are a lot more, there are a lot more, um, death routes, and there's only, like, a few in this game, so, yeah, you won't be seeing that many death routes, but still, I think, I think they are pretty, uh, pretty challenging, like, I'd say overall they're probably more challenging than the ones in Crash 2, there's a lot more to deal with, and I guess by extension you can say that the, um, 
some of the areas in the secret warp room can be counted as death routes. Um, and you'll see what I mean when we get to them. And that's our... I think that's our first instance of a card check. Oh man. Excuse me. And now we're getting to another... A, another gimmick stage. And... These are probably my least favourite. I don't mind them too much. Like, I can enjoy the, these enough. Um, I, th I think they're relatively fun to go through. But it's one stage in the secret warp room that is just the worst thing ever. Like... <laughs> like, C Cold Heart Crash and Crash 2. Yeah, that's the worst platforming stage. Notice I say platforming stage. It's not the worst stage in the trilogy because, for my money, I think that um, the secret um, secret stage of this of this level um, of this level theme is a, like a thousand times a thousand times worse than Cold Heart Crash. Like it's freaking abysmal. I I'm sorry. Like I really really hate that level. It's the only thing I don't like about this game, honestly. Alright, that was a pretty solid run if I do say so myself. But we're not done. Yeah, no dancing. to do the time trial. I swear to say, where's the clock? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, like, you don't really, it would, well, you kind of have uh, Western, Wild West theme, theme levels, or, I think there's only one, actually, but, um, you get a Wild West theme level in Crash 4, but it would have been nice if there was one in this game, instead of just this, the motorcycle, but, hey, you kind of have, the uh, Wild West theme going on here. So that's cool enough. And that one, that Wild West theme in Crash 4 is probably one of the my favourite ones in the game. Oh, that was a bad, that was kind of bad. Come on. Yes! I was probably like just 40s, probably a sapphire. I don't care enough to make silly names. I'm just gonna kind of randomly press X. Yeah, boy. All right. Oh, yeah. These are also a, one of my favorite themes. Arabians, the uh, Egyptians. Egyptian levels. Good day, mate. <laughs> Jingo dials the name, and Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystals to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. Yet we've seen four levels at this point. Well, we're going to our fourth level, and we haven't seen a snow level yet, so... Yeah, how about that? <laughs> oh, man. I guess, like... I don't even know, like... I don't even know if I want to say like they had the um, dialogue written out and then actually made the game because that sounds kind of weird to do a platformer, but I don't know. I just find find it kind of weird how it's like get the crystals during the ice ages. Uh, where's the snow and ice? <laughs> you know, like I I don't get that, but oh well. Like we again we we saw like. Not, well, it's not saying half the stages is kind of overkill, but a lot of the stages in Crash 2 had some sort of snow in them. Like, you had the actual snow stages, you had the polar bear stages, the B levels had snow in them somewhat. And yeah, that already takes up a good chunk of stages. Oh, and the boulder chase levels as well had snow in them. And 
yeah, like, again, that's what I'm saying about how themes in Crash 2, uh, a lot, well, some of them just kind of feel too samey to another, in my opinion, and that's what I like about this game, like, when there's the same theme, but different, different time of day or something, it still feels different enough to feel like the same theme, so, you know. And you can feel the difficulty gradually getting higher as you play more and more level, uh, more of the levels themes. So like you'll get like a Sphinx level later on, and um, you'll see that it's a lot harder than the previous ones, for instance. So that's all good. These guys can be pretty tricky. They have a really wonky hitbox. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we can't even get the box gem, so I don't even know what I'm bothering with the boxes, but... No. Yeah, that's just a thing with Crash. Like, sometimes you're just not gonna be able to get all the boxes. It's just gonna have to be the way it is. And... Uh, one thing that... You know... If you remember... Crash 2! I can't believe I actually made that. Uh, one thing, one big flaw, well, the main flaw of Crash 2 was the backtracking in some stages. You'll be happy to know that the backtracking in this game is nowhere near as bad. And when the, there, and there, there's a lot less of it in this game. Like, you'll, there are a few stages that have it. But, in general, they're a lot more manageable than the backtracking was in Crash 2. And, yeah, that's easily the biggest floor of that game. So it's good to see. Like, you just see, like, uh, go through the... You go through the original Crash trilogy and you'll just... You just see, um, Naughty Dog's... How Naughty Dog improved, um, over making the, the free titles. I didn't mean to build it body slam there. Unfortunately, we're just going to get the crystal on this run. Oh, I didn't even... Either I pressed triangle too fast, or he didn't dance, because that was kind of weird. I think sometimes he just doesn't do it. Alright, now for the second, and unfortunately, the last... Um, animal riding level, which it's kind of a shame, honestly, because uh, Crash 2 had like three or four of them, and it's just kind of a shame to only have two, like Crash 1. Like, I'd say cr th this level is easily, like, well, I'd say it's pretty decently challenging, but I would have liked at least one more of these, personally. I'd definitely take it over the freaking Area 51 level. Jeez. <laughs> Man. I know it's not gonna happen, but... <laughs> Crash Free Remake. Please make it so you <laughs> don't have Area 51 and just make another one of these stages. It's not gonna happen, but... I would love uh, Vicarious Visions forever if they did that. I know it's not gonna happen. And that makes me sad. That's, that's all you have to do, and then this is like a dang near perfect game in my eyes. Like, I'm kind of making this game look easy. Um, and again, it's, to be fair, the Crash games aren't necessarily the hardest games ever, but that's mainly because of, um, experience, because I used to suck really badly at this game <laughs> as a kid. Like, I, again, I got owned in, on level one, and I, yeah, I played this game for years, and I just, out from experience and just playing the games, playing the game right. tons yeah, of times, done it. Them crystals are mine. I've just ended up 
I guess, being pretty decent at the game now. Well, I'm still, still kind of failed a few times uh, so far, but yeah. <laughs> And this is the only, the only time you're gonna see snow, which is freaking hilarious. And this is one of my favorite fights in the game. Like, it's not my favorite, but it's definitely, definitely pretty challenging. You have to make sure you have to look out where he's gonna aim. Him. Oh my gosh, that was almost bad. Him. And you can actually jump over the crystals, but again, I don't want to cheese fights. But yeah, first he spits out these little fireball things. Which if you do a spin trick, they'll never reach you. And that goes, that flamethrower thing goes out really fast, so watch where he's facing and then slide out of the way instantly. Sometimes he tries to trick you, uh, mess you up. I don't think you can get crushed by the crystals, I've never tried that. I'm messing up. Alright, we're good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean by kind of messing with you a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> that guy, that got a little bit tense. You thrashed me, mate. No worries, but you'll soon be up against much worse. Die. Double jump. If I'm gonna be honest, this is probably well. Actually, no. I'd say. Hmm. Actually, yeah. I'd say the double jump is the worst ability in the game, because, um, at least with the um, with the um. Super belly flop, you get the shockwave and it feels good to do it on a bunch of boxes, but double jump, even though it is, can be practical and doing it as well as the, the third ability we're going to get, it's very satisfying to do. Like, the double jump kind of is a little bit awkward to pull off, like, you can't, you have to do it before you, you have to do the second jump before you reach the peak of your jump, always it's just not gonna activate and it's a little bit wonky but you, you can get used to it but yeah it's not the best double jump okay oh my gosh well I had Akuraku Yeah, look at yeah, but um, for a new time player, I can see these uh, time trials being really difficult to do, especially if trying to get a good time like I am doing, like I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get all the time boxes and necessarily easy as well easy either. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that hit. Thank goodness you have enough jump height to go over those guys, otherwise this will be impossible. Man, like that part, that section right there is like, so like, crazy. Yeah, I had to, I had to slow the. I couldn't take that risk. Please be good enough. Boo! 
area. Alright. Now for warp room three. Fancy flips. I guess I show it off. Yeah, as soon as you start going down, you can't do it. Oh, it's like. It's like you have like a. half a second to do it when, when you go down, but. yeah. It's kind of weird. And a double jump basically cancels your momentum as well, which is... Again, it's not the best double jump. But it it gets the job done fine enough, but... Make sure you know that early on, otherwise it could screw you over. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Tropic. Master of time and creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade, so you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. Yep. <laughs> 